This is most certainly the final straw in the history of cancel culture. Yes, hi everybody and welcome to another video. I am here, my dear friends, today with a very sad news. And I don't usually cover people who are being cancelled in the internet world, but uh, this, as I posted in one of my posts on Twitter, or X as it is called nowadays, is the final straw in the history of cancel culture. Now, you might be aware of or might be acquainted with uh, the YouTube channel called Cartoonist Cafe, but... Uh, has been around for a couple of years already and I have made a video actually about it a while ago. I shall post a link in the description down below. But uh, this channel was run by two comic book creators uh, of the United States of America, Ed Piscor and Jim Ruggie. And they were focusing on covering and talking about older comic books, both American and European and manga, so not both, but uh, American, European and manga. And they were very well versed in the history of the medium. They were uh, aficionados, they were really experts. And, uh, well, apart from this, they themselves were creators and uh, they have written and drawn many uh, a work of art. They also worked for Marvel Comics. So, for example, uh, Ed Pisco, he created the uh, X-Men Grand Design, which basically traced the history of the X-Men title throughout the years, and Jim Rag did the same for Hulk. And so, uh, you might be aware of the fact that a couple of, well, not, not that long ago, a couple of weeks ago, um, something emerged that concerned Ed Piscor, and once again, a girl said something, and uh, people were arguing whether you know it was genuine or not. Uh, basically, it uh, revolved around him chatting uh, around the COVID era with a 17-year-old. And uh, according to some people, he used language that was kind of inappropriate in this uh, particular, uh, well, way in in this particular situation. Now, yesterday or a couple of days ago, he posted a Facebook note in which he was explaining everything and also saying goodbye, which you know what it means. You know what I'm talking about. I will post a link to this note, Facebook note, in the description down below. I don't know for how long it stays there. I don't know if Facebook takes it down or not, so... Um, you better go there as soon as possible and read it. And he explains everything. And he explains that it was, of course, at the time of the COVID era and that he needed to talk to somebody and that he was excited about young people being uh, very much into uh, Robert Crumb uh, comic books and uh, everything that he loved and that he saw future in these people, young people, future generations of comic book creators. And like everybody in the world at the time, he was feeling extremely secluded and extremely alone. But of course, it was all blown out of the proportions by many people on the internet, by journalists, by uh, cancel pigs, uh, as Mark Millar calls them. And what is the worst of all, everybody turned against him, even his dearest friend, Jim Rugg, who posted this uh, on Instagram. He deleted it since, but many people have saved it, such as myself. And he said, in light of uh, this past week's shocking revelations, I find it necessary to reevaluate my professional associations to ensure they align with my values of respect and integrity. Therefore, I have ended my working relationship with Ed Pisco. This word, integrity... You had been Ed Piscor's friend for years. On uh, the videos on Cartoonist Kayfabe channel, as I stated here, Ed was calling this guy Jimmy. They were, I think, the dearest friends. They were the best friends. Jim Rugg has thrown him under the bus. Jim Rugg, there was an absolute awful thing that he did. So this broke his heart. And you, you can read everything here. And uh, then, of course, uh, people like Alex de Campi here, which is a comic book journalist, absolutely threw him under the bus. And then, of course, th then, of course, uh, people, my dear friends, I will go here like this. 
this particular journalist and uh, the Pittsburgh Television, regional television, they went and interviewed his parents. They showed his parents' house and they showed the number of his parents' house. As I said here, on the internet, it would immediately be considered doxing and it could result in a lawsuit. Hello, one of the many murderers of Ed Pisco. A lot of people have been cancelled uh, in the last couple of years in the entertainment industry, in politics, in all spheres of life today. And not everybody is strong enough to survive it. Not everybody is strong enough to get through it. Not everybody is strong enough to just clench their teeth and uh, get to the top again. Ed Pisco wasn't. Whatever you think about him, and I know that he did not stand for previously cancelled people, he did not like some of the previously cancelled people, that is of no relevance here. What is relevant is that Ed Pisco was a very successful creator, a very talented creator. I... Um, I have just started reading his Red Room comic books. I have read the X-Men Grand Design, although I do prefer to read like the original comics over a retelling of it. But this is just my own personal taste of what I like to read as far as the craft goes. Um, if you, and it is out there uh, for you to buy X-Men Grand Design, it is a very, very well good book i do recommend you get it as far as as well as the red room it's a very crumb-esque underground comic book very r-rated not for kids at all however um the point of this video is to, to point out the cancel pigs and i shall be pointing out cancel pigs each and every time i see them and of all the people that have been cancelled in the history of cancel culture that I have seen and that I have talked about and that I, I have interacted with on the internet and not on the internet, this has really struck me negatively the most. I have been thinking about it since yesterday. He did the deed, Ed Pisco ended his life as of making of, of this video yesterday. And because I had been watching Cartoonist Kayfabe for a long time, since the early days. And because I found Ed Pisco and Jim Ruggs' videos so likable and so wholesome, and because I really like them, and because I hate injustice, I hate evil, I hate senseless violence, I will keep pointing these cases out. I'm sorry if I'm rambling, but uh, firstly, I don't script my videos, you know that. And secondly, this, this, this really made me feel quite sad. And so this means nothing, of course, for anybody, uh, for you know, the relatives or friends or fans of Ed Pisco. But my condolences and um, this is dedicated to him. I mean, we need to stand up against these animals, against vile creatures such as Miss or Mrs. Marcy Cipriani here, who was and is one of the many murderers of Ed Pisco. All right, then, let me know in the comments down below what you think, my dear friends, and they'll be all. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, Namarie.